just like that, squad members, we are back right here on Hecticon 3 on S3. If you have missed out on our show, squad members, don't worry. This week, we have been speaking about our environment, taking care of it, loving it, and of course, protecting it as well. And part of our environment, squad members, is of course, our oceans as well as our, you know, our marine life, which is why I'm super excited to be speaking to our guest for today. Her name is Uzole Gafilanda. Growing up in Gokstad, she had a huge love for science, which led her to being today a biologist as well as a benthic ecologist. So please help me welcome our guest for today, Uzole. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, thank you so much for joining us today. I heard that you are actually in the middle of the ocean. And when I say the middle of the ocean, I mean literally you are in the middle of the ocean. So thank you so much for taking <laughs> some time to speak to us today. Now, I said that you are a benthic ecologist. When I first heard that word, I was like, what? And I'm sure our Scott members as well are a little bit confused on what your career actually is. So can you give us a better understanding of what you do on a day-to-day? -day? Um, so a benthic ecologist is, or benthic ecology is a field of science that really looks at what is what you find on top of the seabed, how that interacts with the surrounding environment, so like the water masses. So essentially, what is there, how much of it is there, and how does that change as you move along the ocean space? Mm. And why would you say that, you know, this career that you've chosen is so important for our planet to have? Well, knowing that the ocean provides a lot of services to just our existence, okay. from regulating the climate and providing like food source, like fish, mm. it's essential that we sort of understand how it functions. Like we, like every single morning we get up, we go to work, we go yeah. to school. There's yeah. a sense of functionality in that. Mm. We are governed by certain rules and regulations. That is not any different for the ocean. Yeah. You know, it functions, it breathes, it has animals, it has communities, it has homes, you know. Mm. So understanding that can help us better manage and ensure that we keep getting the resources that the ocean gives us. Yeah, and I like that you actually said it functions, it has homes. I think that's such a different way of looking at it and I love that perspective so much. But I want to know from you, why specifically did you choose such a scientific um, and, you know, technical field? Why specifically this career? That's a very interesting question that I get quite a lot. Um, I've always loved science, as you've mm. mentioned, and I've sort of like moved with this passion into the field of marine biology. Okay. I didn't know though, growing up, that there was such a field. Mm. So essentially I would say the field chose me at a very seasoned wow. age. Wow, I love that you said that the field chose you because often, you know, they say that if something is really for you, you will find your way through it no matter what. And I think that's such a big lesson that our squad members as well can actually learn from, that if you love something, you will eventually find your way to actually doing it somehow in life. Now, here at Take to Kangar this week, we're speaking about, you know, protecting our environment. And like I mentioned earlier on, part of our environment is our oceans as well as our marine life. So how would you say that we as squad members can actually help protect our oceans? I think the first step for everyone out there, irrespective of age or where you are, is yeah. understanding the functionality of the ocean. First okay. of all, understanding that there's this environment, yeah. this very large environment that sort of like regulates the way we operate on land. Okay. So understanding it's medium and I guess everybody who's tuning in right now has already taken the first step That's because true. they are getting informed so explore that further and basically apply it in a way that is feasible for you yeah. for your circumstances for where you are I like that you said that wherever you are, we need to actually make the effort to learn about our oceans and what exactly it does for us. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us today. I really can feel your love as well as your passion for the ocean and the marine life. And with people like you, our world is going so, so far. So thank you so much for speaking to us today. Bye. Bye. Bye from 
the Ocean Explorer. Bye from the Ocean Explorer. Thank you so much. That was Uzoleka Philander squad member. She is a benthic ecologist. Maybe one day you may find yourself being a benthic ecologist yourself. Who knows, squad members? But for now, I think Speech and I want to dance a bit, want to sing a bit. This is Davido as well as Focalistic. It's his song and they are singing Kista, yo, 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 yo.